humans i think have a innate need of accomplishment of control of need to do something need to you know like i think anyone would agree that a day you spend on at your home binge watching makes you feel better good at that time but eventually the next day or in the evening you feel like i wasted my day so uh, you know art gives you that kind of control on your life even though you might not make the best piece that particular day but it will give you a sense of accomplishment it will give you that okay i decided to do something good with my day to day you will never make a painting and you will always you never feel like i wasted my time it's a disassociation i tend to forget that i have other things going on in life as well until i keep my painting now hello all today we have with us sumaira mumtaz choudhary sumaira belongs from pooch in jammu and kashmir and she is from the tribal community of kashmir and her work which is going to talk about today revolves around the life the culture the landscape of the tribal community of jammu and kashmir so you know sumaira is a artist a wanderer a painter and you know she's a book author working on a book right now for the viewers to know you know sumaira has done a solo exhibition of painting at the india habitat center called leto it was about the tribal culture of the tribes of jammu and kashmir especially her area that is pooch in uh, kashmir very 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 glad to have sumaira on the show today so how are you sumaira i am good i it's uh, it's been an honor being here raja thank you so much for calling me over okay okay thank you so much for coming and accepting our invitation to you know talk about a very important subject the subject is you know art art you know is such a wide term that you know to describe it in you know one meeting to describe it in one webinar it will be difficult but we will still try today you know for the welfare of all the audience who's watching us how art can not only be just a medium of expression but it can also be a therapy so my first question you know to you regarding this would be what according to you is art and what are the various mediums of art that exist and you know are all mediums kind of equal in terms of you know they being called art or is there some perfect art that you know you describe um i think you started very uh, well by saying that it's very difficult to put all the art in the world under one umbrella but uh, since i mainly deal deal with fine art and uh, my own experience with how i have learned and how i have acquired what i paint i think uh, for me art is a way of having fun with colors um so it's it's um, it, it's you know just i think colors having fun on a piece of sheet and you being the director of you know what exactly they play i guess coming to mediums uh there are a lot a lot i mean a lot of mediums out there um uh you know uh, you, you i mean plus there is no boundary you know for someone soil could be a medium for one someone leaves or even you know uh, photographs anything could be a medium so it's very uh, difficult to list out all the mediums but broadly speaking uh, i can touch upon what are the popular medias right now broadly categorize them into two uh, two broad uh, categories uh, one are those which do not need water oil or anything to mix them you can just like carry them it's like and paint them uh, they include charcoals oil pastels soft pastels pen paper uh, markers and even digital medias and the other is acrylic gouache watercolors and oil colors these medias need you to carry a water or or you know brush and things like they're, they're more extensive uh, when it comes to you know like if you were to go on amazon or a stationery shop what are the mediums that you can start out with mediums that will give you a kind of uh, understanding of where to begin with uh, because i believe when you start out the less less variables you have while painting the easier it is for you to develop your work intensive when you want to paint you have to be uh, we like you know whenever i do gouache or watercolors i normally have a big backpack with you know my uh, uh, palettes and my colors and my brushes tissue paper so on and so forth there's a lot of material that goes behind okay. these these medias so you know you described about the media you described about why painting is such you know a popular and such a easy choice 
for people who want to start with art you know, whenever we think about art the picture that comes into your head is a person with a slant cap and with a brush in his hand and you know working on painting so why is it that uh, art is so synonymous with painting what is it about painting that makes it so you know uh, so relatable and so familiar with when we think about art i think painting is one of the most easier way to uh, to paint or uh, to to basically express yourself one of the easiest medium of art, art when when we are younger we are given crayons and so on and so forth and it's it's more like making sculptures or making other uh, installation art is a bit more uh, i would say advanced form of art but uh, uh, not advanced would not be perhaps a right word a, a more complicated way of art perhaps but uh, fine arts i would say is more accessible you you uh, you can understand okay what well, that's a gouache that's a watercolor how it happens so it's it's more famous it's more popular but i want to ask you why is it that people paint and what led you to start painting um i i think people paint for all sort of reasons they they paint for you know even starting with validation that's where i i think when i was a kid i started out because i was not particularly very good in studies compared to my siblings and you know that was i i started painting when i was about 3 uh, you know even before i started speaking and you know when i made someone something in my parents were for the i i held on it to it because uh, that was one thing that sort of set me apart when i was a kid i was you no know, my all of my siblings and everyone was very relatively good in studies all 95% class and i was like you know this is something that i'm good at this is my thing but then eventually it morphed into something more than that and i think for people there are all kind of reasons sometimes people uh, you know uh, want to see themselves an artist people who are struggling to put out certain thing in the society they find ways to do it and sometimes it just happens you know you don't you don't think about it it's just a very natural thing like i think that after a point we disassociate ourselves from art and that's where we stop painting it's a very natural thing i believe for humans to paint i want to ask you how do you actually feel when you are painting we know we need to get into the feel part of it um like have you felt that when you're when you're watching a very good movie and then for uh, for some time you just disassociate yourself from everything that's going around you and when the movie ends then you sort of everything sort of comes back comes back to you i think art does that to me that whenever i'm painting i'm thinking about colors i'm thinking about okay what to do next or what are the various layers that go in it how do i make this color it's so on, on and so forth and um, you know you know it's it's uh, i i it's a disassociation i tend to forget that i have other things going on in life as well until i keep my so that's uh, that's what art does to me so you know uh, maybe a lot of people question about the utility or the usefulness of art are they missing out something in life the people who question the usefulness and the utility of art what is the use of painting and all those things i think the people who have uh, these uh, concerns are i would say over evaluating life <laughs> like i believe they are the serious kind and uh, i mean of course like it's not a research that okay i am 10% happier today after painting no one can like i i don't believe science is so advanced yet that we can exactly put it in percentages but i definitely believe that people who paint and are able to put themselves out there feel more satisfied with their lives okay 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 and you know you know i've heard a lot of people taking anti depression treatment i've taken, you know spoken to a lot of people mm-hmm. taking therapy and you know they kind of all the therapists mm-hmm. kind of tell people to you know do art so can can you believe that mm-hmm. art is therapy do you believe that art is one source of people you know getting rid of their internal state and taking it as therapy so uh, where as i am not uh you know um a professional uh in the in the field i can uh, share my personal experience and people around me who are going through similar situation and you know what i observe out of their behavior is that humans i think have a innate need of accomplishment of control of need to do something need to you know like i think anyone would agree that a day you spend on at your home binge watching makes you feel better good at that time but eventually the next day or in the evening you feel like i wasted my day so 
uh, you know art gives you that kind of control on your life even though you might not make the best piece that particular day yeah. but it will give you a sense of accomplishment it will give you that okay i decided to do something good with my day to day you will never make a painting and you will always never feel like i wasted my time so i think that uh, especially during lockdown when uh, you know um, like uh, things were haywire you know we we are finding it difficult to adjust to this new lifestyle and being on screen all the time not being able to go out you you know normally we have things to do like on, before covid like go buy groceries or meet someone or you know we have certain tasks for the day i think finishing all these tasks give us gives us a sense of control of our life but we tend to lose this control when we you know when we are in this very fluid fluidy state of life mind right now and you know deciding when when i get up in the morning and i you know i feel like okay i want to paint today or i i paint every day in fact but at the end of the day i feel like i have done something important and good with my life and i think that helps me keep my sanity so you know, with your permission we are going to show in this video some of your paintings as a slide show and you know i want to sure. and you know when i whenever i look at the paintings that you make there is so much of you know a repetition or so much of an inspiration from flowers from trees from nature so is it because of the setting that you are in and will if somebody is born in mumbai or delhi will they start making skyscrapers or they will also try to make nature what is it why is it that nature and inspiration go together so i will uh, go back to a discussion we were happy have uh, having in spring in delhi this year uh, when you know we were talking about all these uh, flowers which had come up uh, gulmohar or uh, you know silviax bombia and you know other flowers bougainvillea so i think um, by the like, way it's amal das right me, now by the way it's amal das right das, now yeah, all over and i'm so jealous <laughs> i'm so jealous <laughs> that is the only thing i'm jealous about right now in delhi <laughs> i'm seeing this yellow brickshas and yellow uh, multas i'm yeah so um i think uh, what i normally feel whenever i go i i, I see these things is this restlessness to want to do something about it i feel i feel so overwhelmed by uh by by the scenic beauty in situations that you know i feel like you know i cannot i cannot just see it right now and go away like you know i have to do something about it i i need to do something about it so that's where the need to paint come and and i don't feel so strongly about you know people who put like you know uh, throughout the years who, these flowers and you know vegetation which exists throughout the year but these seasonal ephemeral sites that exist like you know okay this is two weeks where you just have amaltas in delhi and i feel like okay this this is not going to stay after two weeks i need to put it down i need to put it down <laughs> yeah, yesterday i went to a field where there were so many irises like it was so beautiful and i just i did not have my uh, art material with me right then and i'm still so helpless about it i'm pretty sure i'll go there <laughs> yeah, yeah i can i can imagine i can imagine so you know this this whole idea about you know capturing what is going on around you and you know capturing it as as if you're treasuring it as if it is exactly. some kind of a treasure exactly. that you just want to you know just make use of at that yeah, moment and, 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 yeah and and then i also want to add on to something that it does to you i think people like people can say that okay i'm there there, there are amaltas and you you can photograph them i photograph them as well but uh, like now uh, like i paint at the place a lot like i i go i bring out my equipments i like to see things and paint them so uh, now i look back to let's say my 3 years ago my trip to ladakh or when i was interning in sikkim and i had made all these painting because it takes time to absorb what you are seeing and you are around in a context you are sitting there for one hour your whole state of mind sort of gets stamped on that paper whenever i look back to this painting i go back to thinking okay we went there uh that person was saying this we were you know that's what i saw there was someone crossing there there were these flowers i can i can remember the exact small details about that event and it it captures the the experience more holistically than what i would say photography or other source of for me i mean i i believe it's more holistic in nature so you know probably when you're walking on the street versus when somebody who's not an artist walking on the street you would be observing each and every little flower on the you know 
a weed flower you know flower which is on the yeah. ground which you know people would not notice you would notice a flower you know hidden somewhere on the branch of a tree you'll notice you know yeah. beauty all around you so what is the secret about you know always being observant to beauty all around you and also treasuring it and you know capturing it in art i think it's it's a uh, it's not i i go for looking these things but sometimes you know let's say if you are fond of cars and you come across this car and you feel like so happy so i am fond of certain things in life and whenever i see them i get very happy and then i want to do something about it uh, you know sometimes i make a quick sketch sometimes i photo photograph it and i have a gallery i i would not show my gallery to anyone because you know whenever i'm in delhi there would be an auntie wearing a very pretty sari and the way she is sitting and you know eating ice cream like that i would just like sneakily take a picture <laughs> I don't think it's a good habit, but I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's fine. It's a harmless. Or, you know, like, it's harmless. Like that, <laughs> or a guy sitting like that, smoking a BD or something, which is like interesting. I just like take out my camera. <laughs> so, on the more more practical side of it, you know, uh, mm -hmm. how is it for somebody who wants to begin in art? What do what should yeah. they do? Yeah. So I would. Um, put to uh, broad categories of people uh, i people who are uh, not you know people who do not consume art are not associated with art are not artists or architects or designer of any sort and people who are in those categories for people who you know per particularly are just like art they, they they don't have like this french favorite artist or a italian favorite painting things like that for them uh, i would say that you have to like even for both of them you have to just paint like you know you have to it's, it's not like you will find this perfect picture reference or you will find this perfect opportunity you know you just sit okay there's a lamp next to me there's a water bottle there there are some flowers there's my clip like there are these artists i see who are making the most beautiful uh, paintings of the, the most niche and like you know daily life things like tissue paper plastic bag light like you know you, you don't have to like you have to start you just have to start and uh, for people who are Uh, associated with art have a place in art i would say you you also have to paint a lot a lot but more than anything you have to be you, you don't have to be cruel to yourself you have to be very polite with yourself because people who already have a taste in art normally whenever they paint they want to think that okay this is going to be my Mon mona lisa or this is going to be my starry nights you know uh, being being kind to yourself is very important because you already are like you're looking at artists who are here and your skills and techniques right now are here and then you know it will take you some time to go here and then forgiving yourself painting indiscriminately like you know just making like uh, three four paintings a day and continuing that habit like forcing yourself every day to paint that's after some time you'll reach a point where you think about certain color certain composition certain subject and you will be able to put it in your sheet the way you thought it would that will come after a lot of understanding of colors of composition of textures and so many things but all those understanding comes when you paint absolutely so so there is no curve learning curve in it it is as you're going on with it you're going to learn with every step it's not that first you learn and then you start it's about as you start you will keep on learning is that right so uh, i would i'm not a very big fan of um, you know um, institutionalized art like you know i i i when i was deciding what to do i never like, i loved art but i never thought that i would learn art in a school so uh, my my experience and my learning has been reduce the number of variables what i mean by that is start simple start with pen start with pencil and once you think that you are able to uh, sketch the way you want to you you have a control over your subjects you have a control over composition you can understand how uh, you know a, a particular scene is works then you go to um, shading you understand how you know how tones work how saturate not not saturation sorry how contrast works and then you go to colors and don't start with watercolor start with gouache start with even oil colors for that matter because they are easy to control like you know know what to start with otherwise you will have a lot of disappointment and then you will eventually give up 
okay okay absolutely so you know you shared a lot about uh, your personal experience how you captured the beauty around you how art can be done and how somebody can start with the art uh, with art so my question for you right now is you know if there is a message that you want to give to the viewers if there is some way you can inspire them if they if there's some way you can tell them how they could you know fulfill their lives by art this is the moment please talk to your viewers thank you thank you for this opportunity uh, uh to all the people who are wanting to paint and who don't know what to do uh, just pull out those colors you have bought long back ago or order them from amazon uh you know i uh, you can text me you can find me on instagram if you can link my account instagram account i will guide you regarding what medias to go for what not but just start that is the first thing you don't have to wait for that inspiration you have you don't have to wait for something to it you know not all your paintings are going to be paintings that you're proud of for every artist i would say for every artist those pretty 10 paintings that you see on their instagram or behance there are 200 paintings they they did and they are not putting it out there because that's a process and you will also go through the same process but let me tell you that one painting that you will make will be so much worth all that frustration and all those disappointments um and uh, uh and also people say that you know this there is this whole feeling of expressing yourself to art i don't think that it's a very active thing it happens very passively like sometimes you are happy and you want to use all yellows sometimes you are like a little low it, it just happens very naturally so you will see th that happening to you but i would say there is only one thing to being an artist that is paint there's nothing else absolutely 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 you know that was very good amount of personalized insightful sharing with respect to art that you have done with the viewers today i am sure you know after seeing your painting which i am going to run in this video and after you know having you speak and ha having to understand that artists are no separate people it's you and me it's people who you know just take out a moment out of the day and do something extra which fulfills their life for them so it was very 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 good having you on this show and you know you telling people about art so thank you very much thank you raja let me, uh let me add that people can reach out to me i love especially i had a very bad time finding the right colors and right paper and everything so yeah to reach out to me show me your work if you want any insight i'm there thank you thank you so much okay thank you, thank you.